Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce how we connect Power BI application to Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse. As you know, Power BI application is one of BI self-service leader in the market that developed by Microsoft. And here is the step by step how we connect to ADW. You need to provision ADW and download credential file to Power BI system and also install Power BI application and install Oracle Database Client on Power BI system. In my example, Autonomous Data Warehouse instant e revision is already so i also download the credential file and i start in my local location adapt training my credential i also download and install the power bi desktop edition in my desktop oracle suggest we should install oracle database client but uh, we just want to connect ADW, so we don't need to install fully Oracle Database Client. Instead, we just want to download the Oracle Instant Client Package, and the latest version is 19.3.0. Okay, let's assuming my environment is uh, Microsoft Windows, so I browse you. A window download page, and you see the latest version is 19.3.0. There are two options you can download the basic package that includes uh, own file required to run OCI, OCCI, and JDBC OCI application. Or you can download basic client package. It is smaller version of the basic package with only image error message and Unicode and support uh, ANSI and Western era character. Both options require the Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 review table. In case your Microsoft Visual Studio the lower version, you can scroll down and select the version that you want and suitable for your environment. For example, the version 18.5.0 for Microsoft Visual Studio 2013. So, if you want to connect ADW instant and execute SQL R PL SQL query using command line, you can download SQL Star Plus package. And if you want to create ODBC connection that allow .NET application to connect uh, ADW instance or Oracle database, you can download the package ODBC. Okay, all package uh, have been downloaded to my location and now I need to unzip own package to the folder created. In my example, I will unzip to the folder instant client basic 19.3 here. If the folder network R and admin folder are not assisted, we should Create them manually. Now we need to unzip the wallet zip file, I mean that credential file that we download in previous step, and unzip this file to admin folder. And next, I open sqlnet.o 
a hi-fi and I modify the directory to the folder that contain the zip file and also add more configuration authentication and directory path and next step we need to create DNS admin system variable I click on properties oh no and I open advanced system settings and click on environment variable and also I will create a new system variable I put the name TNS underscore admin and I will point to the directory folder admin folder click OK 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 and we need to restart the system to make sure the system variable will be impact OK after restarting system, we are ready to connect to ADW. Let's open Power BI application and we connect to Oracle database. I select Oracle database and I, I enter service name to see what our service name I open DNS name found in admin folder I will connect to DB ADW test high instant service and I will connect with inbox mod directly And I select a user schema, for example, I select a DW ML user. And I select a table, for example, I select customer very card table. And I load into Power BI. Okay, the process is under evaluating process. Connect model, loading data to model. Okay, you see the data is available and we are ready to build dashboard report. For example, I I build the bar chart. Yes, I select purpose and credit amount, and also I select perforation. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your watching.